I want to share with you how these big boys make profit and how they operate in the market. So very simple here. I have a list of uh, stocks. They have done moving house before, which accumulation, the whole operation from the bottom and start to mark the price up higher up until uh, the peak and then the price start to throw it down lower. You will find this kind of stock a lot in Malaysia or not just in Malaysia and overseas also is fine a lot. They do accumulation here, which you would not notice that with using the traditional analysis because they don't tell you this uh, or give you any of the signals to tell you to entry at this point, but they only give you the signal at the highest point here, which is, you can see here, is at the peak of the price. So that's why it's always late or laggy. If let's say you are waiting for any of the chart pattern formation, or maybe you're waiting for any indicators of crossing up and down, it's late. Why? Because the price move first then indicators follow because the indicators the calculation the formula is based on the price so if let's say wait for the indicators to show the signal then it's already too late because the price could have already moved down lower okay so how these big boys actually make profits as you can see i have marked here they do accumulation after they've done the accumulation they will mark the price up higher why because they need to sell at the higher price so their cost price assuming at this point is about like 24 cents so right now, when they are marking up the price, you might think, when the price reached to this point, how do they make profit? How do they sell? They sell on the way down, wouldn't they make losses? How do they make profit out of this? If let's say they sell it down, is there enough of buyers in the market? So that is the key word, buyers. They need to have the buyers. And who are the buyers? We are the buyers, the retail investors. So how do they attract us to buy the shares? Very simple, push the price up higher, and then form a chart pattern, maybe show like a flat breakout. So once it breaks out, people will start to come in, create high volume, high volume. So the retail investor will come in. But of course, when the retail investor, when they come into the market, they won't buy at the, when the price is moving up, they won't buy at this point. So what they will do, what we will do as a retail investor, we will park our buy orders at the lower point. Let's say, for example, in this case, if the price are marked up, and out, the price have already marked up here. So what retail investors see in the buy sell queue, they always think that, oh, this at one fifteen cents over here is a huge support. But we forgot about one thing. These are oh. just buy orders, orders. They are not executed yet, which means you can cancel it off anytime. Same goes to the big boys that they key in the orders. Seems like there's a lot of support. It's just the buy orders that they have. As long as they have the funds, they, as long as they have the money, they can key in here. Once they key in here, they can cancel it off anytime. So once they see there's a lot of retail investors starts to queue in at this point, then they will cancel off their order. Within the same second, they throw the price down. So very fast. So you thought like, hmm, yeah, I got it at the fair value. I got it at the price that I think it is. So you see, I'm so good. Uh, so proud of myself that I, I can actually buy at the price that I want. But in fact, the true story is you are we are being manipulated emotionally by the big boys because this is how they create the fear of missing out as well. Okay, so you can see if they do the same thing again and again at this point over here, you can see a lot of price retrace. These are the sign that is telling us that the big boys are selling their shares. So look into this, the price that they accumulated at 24 cents. So each time if it's there is a retrace at this point, here they're selling at 31 cents. Here they're selling at 37 cents. Here they are selling at 40 over cents. And then at this point, the whole stretch over here when they are selling down is selling from 50 cents down to 35 cents. So they, whatever they sell, at this point, as long as it's above their cost price, they are able to make profit, even though when they are throwing down like this. Okay, usually when it's thrown down like this, they have not much shares left because they will try to distribute or sell majority of their shares at this point when the price is at the high side. Let's say, for example, 80% of it will be sold at this point. And then the remaining one will be sell at this point, then maybe left one or two percent, it doesn't matter because the profit that they took is actually at this range over here. 
Is it above their accumulation cost price? Yes, it is. So imagine 99% of their shares are sold here. Do they make profit? Yes. 1% of their shares sold down and sold below their cost price. Will they still make profit? Yes. Even though the 1% make a little bit of losses, they still make profit from the 99% of their shares. This is what we are sharing here today. So if you want to find out more in our operator analysis, look into this price and volume movement and do look into our event page to see our upcoming webinar session so you can learn from that. I'll explain more in depth. So thank you very much for watching. Remember to give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Facebook page. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.